Princess Catherine is a woman who was brought to the public eye by her marriage to Prince William. She carries an aura of love and acceptance that has endeared so many hearts to her. She consistently maintains positive popularity rates and despite the numerous scandals surrounding her family, her reputation has mostly remained untarnished. Who wouldn't love Princess Catherine? She carries herself with so much elegance and represents the royalty so well. Unlike other princesses in the royal family, Catherine seems to be enjoying so much love and loyalty from fans. What could be the reason behind everybody's love for her? Let's go on a ride as we unveil why everybody loves Princess Catherine. Princess Catherine has a fantastic sense of fashion. Her wardrobe choices from her stunning Alexandra McQueen wedding dress to her cowboy-inspired outfits for America. She's been adored even more because she recycles her outfits and mixes designers and high street fashion. She maintains her composure while participating in both domestic and international daily activities while dressed up. The way she keeps her attire simple reflects her confidence. Catherine holds the same view as Queen Elizabeth, that she must be seen to be trusted. Her sense of style may be described as simple with style, and this earns her a lot of respect and love. Catherine is a family girl at heart, just like us. She's not only supported Pippa throughout the entire fake gun in Paris incident, but she also spent time with her family throughout the holidays. She has been accepted with wide arms into the royal family and gets along with her family members. If you want to be part of our family, quickly subscribe to our channel and turn on your notification bell so we can keep spilling the royal tea. Catherine appears to be one of the most approachable of the royals. She practically has access to anything she desires, making it seem as though she is one of those other girls. The problem is she doesn't behave that way. She appears like the girl next door who could double as both your best friend and your fashion icon. As Catherine's magic touch becomes increasingly apparent, many have praised her for inviting closeness through her body language, particularly when she's among children and other vulnerable individuals. She engages with children at eye level and doesn't hold back when giving them hugs because she is aware that this puts them at ease. Catherine's practice of stooping to children's eye level, keeping her head close to theirs and maintaining eye contact ensures that they feel at ease and very much the centre of her attention. She doesn't force the discussion or use any body language or verbal tics that would suggest she's merely acting for the camera, which gives these moments an air of naturalness and lack of regalness. Young children's comfortable and confident body language is evidence of the outcome. Catherine's voice tone doesn't change when she talks to kids. Her method makes kids feel more mature and less patronised. She asks them questions without adopting a sing-song voice adults frequently use when speaking to children, giving the impression she is speaking to an equal rather than a young child. As a mother of three, she has learned this from personal experience. Although Catherine may not possess Diana's dazzling charisma, royal insiders claim that she is closest to being like the person from whom she received her title. They predict that after the death of the Queen and a string of shocking events that shook the monarchy, Catherine will prove to be a great asset. She is easily compared to her mother-in-law, who she never even met. Yes, both women are renowned for their beauty and style, but what matters most is warmth, and Catherine, like Diana, has enough of it. Diana helped the poor and the elderly, comforted ill children, and did many other good deeds. She was adored by the public for it, because they were accustomed to more aloof and distant royal family. Diana shared Catherine's affinity for kids, and discovered that making a child feel safe and welcome meant stooping down to look into their eyes. The Princess of Wales has supported various charities over the past 12 years since she wed Prince William in 2011. She has also started a mental health campaign, flaunted her photography skills and done a lot more. Although Catherine has been well known for a while, she formally attended a regular school, participated in hockey and tennis as a child and posed for her parents' company's catalogues. 
over 20 philanthropic and military organisations, including Action for Children, Sports Aid, and the National Portrait Gallery are patronised by Catherine. She works on charitable endeavours through the Royal Foundation, concentrating on topics relating to early childhood care, addiction and arts. Some of the most vulnerable and excluded children and young people in the UK are served by more than 400 programmes administered by Action for Children. The patronage was accepted by Catherine in December 2016. The organisation, which was established in 1868, assists families with vulnerable and neglected children and young people across the UK. They assist with foster care, adoption, child neglect and respite therapy for those with disabilities. Catherine envisioned the Heads Together campaign, which she, her husband Prince William and her brother-in-law Prince Harry launched in April 2016 to raise awareness of mental health issues. Her dedication to charity is admirable and helps her gain the public's favour. Princess Catherine can afford to provide her children with a luxurious upbringing because she is a member of the British royal family. However, the princess hopes to impact her children with the value of appreciating the little things that add beauty to life. Teaching Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis to enjoy even little periods of calmness amidst the chaos is a crucial aspect of Catherine's parenting style. Interestingly, Catherine attributes her conviction in savouring life's small joys to the way her parents nurtured her. A typical childhood is not usually available to royal children. Since their names are published in newspapers before they can even read, they are practically public figures from the moment of their birth. The Princess of Wales fortunately makes an effort to ensure that Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis get to experience typical activities like playing outside, encouraging her children to appreciate nature and developing self-assured children are important parts of Princess Catherine's parenting style. In the way she manages everything that occurs in the family, Catherine demonstrates a great deal of respect and regard for the royal family. She has never made a public complaint about unjust treatment by the media or the royal family. We haven't heard her gripe about still being named Kate Middleton after 12 years of marriage, about being referred to as Waity Katie for years before getting engaged or how the upper class of Britain didn't think she was deserving. Despite allegations that the royal family hasn't been friendly to her, her family, she has never publicly voiced her complaints with any of them. Who wouldn't adore a woman like that? Catherine is a team player who understands how to do her part without abusing her position of authority or abusing others. She works within her means and makes sure the team's operations go well, since she's self-assured in her understanding of her function and significance. She stays out of everyone's way and lets them shine when they are ready. Catherine is a woman who fully comprehends the responsibilities and duties of marrying into the royal family. It could be said that she was well prepared for it. She is not a snob who thinks she can outdo her husband. Instead, she stands by him, much like the Duchess of Cornwall does. She is aware of the harm someone in her shoes could bring about if she doesn't stand by her husband. Someone of her calibre is likely to become enraged by critics and responds in kind. Every chance would have been taken to demonstrate their advantage over detractors. Catherine, on the other hand, does not display this type of power intoxication. Instead, she trusts in the might and force of silence. Even when someone critiques her hair, Princess Catherine doesn't respond. Some anonymous critics complained that it was over lengthy and disorganised. Then, while advertising a new reality programme, former royal hairdresser Denise McAdam went on record to suggest that her hair appeared overdone. Catherine did not respond. What's the most striking trait you love about Princess Catherine? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Click here to watch more videos and thanks for watching.